Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a review and walkthrough on Creation Crate's Month 2 project. New videos are being released every week. Keep up to date with my latest video by hitting that notification bell on my channel homepage. If you haven't seen Month 1's review video for Creation Crate, be sure to check that out. I will include a link in the description below. Creation Crate has also provided me with a 10% discount off the first box. The coupon code is DIYERS. Again, as a quick overview of what Creation Crate is, it is a Canadian based company which ships worldwide, is available to all ages, and is a subscription based electronics kit. It uses various inputs and outputs such as lights, sensors, switches, etc., through Arduino's programming to create interactive projects. Zero electronics experience or knowledge is required. Creation Crate provides a high quality kit with an easy to follow step by step guide. This project I am working with here is a memory game. The package comes neatly packed in a bubble wrap, and everything that is required to make the project comes in a box. First, we have the manual. All the steps are clearly illustrated and extremely easy to follow. Next is a cable needed to upload the programming to the Arduino board. Here are the wires, both long and short, needed to connect the circuit. A couple stickers. Package of resistors. Switches with colored caps, LEDs, and speaker. Breadboard. And finally, the Arduino Uno R3 development board. Now we can start separating the wires, same as month one, both large and small. Moving along, I can now start with the assembly. First step is installing the LEDs in the correct position and make sure you do not mix up the anode and cathode. Installing the switches along with the corresponding color coded caps. Speaker, be sure to remove the sticker covering the face as well. Resistors for both switches and LEDs. Just to give you a close up of where I currently am with the assembly, ensuring all the components are in the proper locations so you don't have any errors afterwards. Get the Arduino circuit board ready to be attached. Using the jumper wires we separated earlier, use them to connect the circuit on the breadboard. And finally, we can connect the breadboard to the Arduino circuit board. While this project is slightly more complex than month one, it is still very easy to follow with Creation Crate's high quality instructions. Here's a close up once the assembly has been finalized. All that is required now is writing and installing the coding. Open up Arduino's programming software, which is free from Arduino's website, and start a new project. The programming should have already been set up after receiving month one from Creation Crate. All the coding is outlined in the instruction booklet. If you're having trouble, Creation Create provides a user login just like month one to access their electronic instruction booklet. And if you give up on coding, they already have a pre-written file for downloading. Their website also includes questions to help test your knowledge and detailed photos of what your final assembly should look like. Once ready to upload, make sure the right board is selected under the tools drop down menu. I did happen to make an error as I did forget to set the port, but this is just a minor fault and was easily fixed by selecting the drop down menu again for tools and then selecting the port. This just gives you an example if there's an error with the coding, the Arduino programming will automatically pick that up and let you know exactly what happened. The programming is available for both Mac and Windows users. Mac does require an extra driver which I did install in month one's video and Creation Crate does provide that. Once the program has been successful, you're now ready to enjoy your newly created project. This game is immediately ready to play. When the lights flash, you must match the sequence with the corresponding buttons. As you get further into the game, it does become harder and will certainly put your memory skills to the test. If you do make a mistake, all the lights will flash along with an audible sound from the buzzer. This is literally the second time I've worked with Arduino programming. And I must say Creation Crate offers an excellent opportunity for anyone wanting to learn Arduino programming along with electronics. Their kits are enjoyable to build and open to people of all ages regardless of your skill level. Once you gather more kits, 
The parts can be used to create your own inventions. The only limitation is your imagination. This concludes the rest of my review video. Have you purchased this product? Leave a comment below sharing your experience. Also subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.